Emiliano and uh, Ken came to us today. Um, Emiliano has come to us through the World Food Prize. Uh, Ken's just a, a friend of Hoover. He's a grad, um, 1973, I believe, and he. It's interesting the two of them happened here this week. Um, that wasn't intended, but it's been a delightful surprise. They came last night to kick off our first ever distinguished lecture series here at Hoover, and today they'll be speaking to our STEM advisories, um, and all all four of our. Um, freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors are represented uh, in those advisories. We have eight, ki eight advisories and about 250 kids that will um, be able to hear their stories um, of all their work they're doing overseas. You know, the students here are clearly having a very productive and meaningful experience through their internships and their classes and the inspiration of their teachers here at Hoover. That's something that I didn't have when I was a student here. We didn't have AP classes either, so lots of things have changed. But to have the opportunity to gain research experience in high school, instead of learning that you're interested in research much later in your career, as happened to me, is extraordinarily valuable. Hoover has a, is lucky enough to be a STEM Academy and an IB World School. Um, taking those two ideas and merging them with these two gentlemen is really unique. Um, Emiliano um, bringing us the, uh, the world view and Ken bringing us more of the scientific uh, view. To hear that quality of, of uh, students uh, being so young and I mean they were talking about a lot of bunch of stuff that I don't understand and I was feeling wow I mean this, uh, this is uh, really uh, inspiring I suppose for many other students and uh, for younger students and even for us to see how so younger or so so many youngsters can actually uh, you know speak at that at that level so I think those guys have a bright uh, future. Not because of STEM I wouldn't be who I am today and I wouldn't be able to encourage others to be in STEM to um, do their work to um, have an impact on other people because I have already experienced it and I'm now able to share my story to a lot of people, a lot of cool awesome people <laughs> that I, I did not know exist and it opens my mind to the world around me and um, it gives me a lot of opportunity. Then I got into the STEM program and then I found out that what I started to get motivated because I wanted challenges. I started to find these sorts of challenges. They put me into these programs where I put way out of my comfort zone. I had to talk to people and tell them about my experiences. For me, STEM really means opportunity and it's really opened my eyes. It's helped me decide what I want to do, how I want to get there, um, and what steps I want to take along the way. I'd say the only thing that I would say for a student who wants to get into STEM is for them to challenge themselves. Challenge themselves as hard as they can. Get out of their comfort zone and just figure out whatever they like. Just challenge yourself as hard as possible. I know that what we do matters. I just never realized how much it mattered. Um, and out of the mouths of babes, it's always special. So I was really glad to hear them talk today about um, what this journey has been for them and how I think it's going to make a difference in where they go in their life. So. Um, that's kind of like the mama seeing the kid uh, come to what you wanted, and that's, that was really the feeling today. Um, it's really pretty cool.